Official NASA documents reveal the agency has been preparing for decades to play a leading role in a mass extinction event in 2025 that will lead to the collapse of civilization and the depopulation of the majority of people on planet Earth. During a PowerPoint presentation, NASA's chief scientist Dennis Bushnell outlined plans for a devastating series of inside job terror attacks and biological warfare on US soil against US citizens in 2025 as part of the plot to destroy civilization as we know it. Alarmingly, many of the details outlined in the NASA PowerPoint presentation have already occurred, indicating that the plans for the mass extinction event are well underway. Before we dive in, join the People's Voice Locals community if you haven't already, and sign up to become a member of the world's first ever cyber nation that truly believes in life, liberty, and the pursuit of your dreams. Visit joson.com and click the Join Us button today. It's completely free. A PowerPoint presentation by Chief NASA Scientist Dennis Bushnell at the Langley Center in July 2001 detailed a plan to wage a war on humanity and radically depopulate the planet in the year 2025. According to the NASA presentation, the year 2025 will feature terrorist attacks in the United States, biological attacks, and an EMP or electromagnetic pulse. Critical infrastructure will be destroyed as part of the plan to bring civilization to its knees and American citizens will be tortured on primetime news. Deborah Tavares has the details about this disturbing NASA presentation. It was on the NASA website, and uh, it was a document that actually is a PowerPoint presentation by Dennis Bushnell, the chief NASA scientist at the Langley Center. And it was presented in 2001, July of 2001, just a few months before 9-11. And... Um, what brought my attention to it and immediately rang some uh, uncomfortable realizations was when I first, when we first came across it, it says on the website, Future Strategic Issues, Future Warfare Circa 2025. And uh, as I decided to just flip through it quickly to see what it was about, I was a little stunned on page four. It said, the presentation is based in all cases upon existing data, trends, analysis, technologies, no pixie dust. And the entire premise of the document, or the PowerPoint, is about robots, cyborgs, and humans. According to NASA, the human race has not evolved to the point of usefulness for the global elites. So they're going to exterminate the majority of us and enslave the rest. The document clearly states that the global elite, along with government agencies like NASA, will deploy silent weapons in a covert war against humanity in 2025, with the ultimate goal of depopulating the planet. So who wrote this NASA document, and was this intentional? Did they want the public to see this, do you think? Or? Well, again, uh, the Illuminati, the most wealthy, rich men on the face of the planet, always telegraph everything that they're going to do. So the fact that it was on the NASA website, it was certainly available to the public, but did they see it? Obviously not. Because had they looked at this document, you would know about it right now. And we don't. And that's the purpose of this discussion, is for people to know about this document. Uh, again, the conflict between the future and the fact that they said it was a current reality in 2001 of July when this was actually presented. And what it said, which was quite shocking, on page 93, it said, Capture, Torture Americans in Living Color on Prime Time. And that is an unbelievable statement. Then it's followed up by saying, Terror attacks within the continental United States using binary biologicals take down critical infrastructure. They are going to use an EMP, which is an electromagnetic pulse. They're going to use um, radiation frequencies against our brains, etc., and conduct serious psi war and collateral damage and exploitation. On the same page 93, they say exploit CNN syndrome. Now, CNN, of course, is the network, the news media network, propaganda machine and was set up by the CIA. You can watch the movie called Psy War on StopTheCrime.net for all the background information on CNN. 
very, very interesting uh, information. Uh, then you go on and you read that um, on page 66, they say increasingly critical are human limitations and human downsides. Humans are too large. Humans are too heavy, too tender. Humans are too slow, both physically and mentally. And we require huge logistical trains, meaning we cost way too much money to maintain. And humans have rapidly decreasing to negative value. Can you even believe this? I mean, you're hearing this, and it's got to be rather shocking coming off of a NASA website, particularly when some of the agencies that are involved are the U.S. Air Force, DARPA, the CIA, the FBI, Southern Command, Atlantic Command, Australian Department of Defense, and other agencies. This is the corporation's agencies. How are the elite planning to use NASA and other agencies to wage a war on humanity and drastically reduce the global population? The NASA presentation lays out their chilling strategy. What's even more disturbing is that we've already witnessed the deployment of many of these weapons against humanity. Uh, they talk also about, um, on page 9, this is very interesting and horrifying. <laughs> Humans have taken over and vastly shortened evolution. They're going to direct evolution. They believe, the they, the bankers, the global elites, believe that they have accomplished immortality. And they're doing that, again, keeping in mind that this entire document is about robots, cyborgs, and humans. They've already mapped our brains. We've just recently heard that they can um, transfer a human brain into machinery. So whenever they tell us that this is a new scientific discovery, we know it's been uh, decades and decades prior to us ever finding out about these things. And uh, they also talk about um, microdust as a weapon. They say that this micron-sized mechanized dust, which is distributed as an aerosol and inhaled into the lungs, the dust mechanically bores into the lung tissue and executes various pathological missions. They say it's a completely new type of warfare, and it is legal. It's legal. If this sounds familiar, it's because the NASA document is confirming everything that we've been warning the masses about for years. Bioweapons, including mRNA nanotechnology and chemtrails, are being deployed to control and enslave the human race. But the NASA document also reveals horrific new methods of warfare that the elites are planning to use against us. 